it's Julia. I have a quick sweatshirt makeover for you today and I just um, filmed this a couple weeks ago when I was on vacation and I thought I would share it with you. I have a comfort colored sweatshirt and I will link the comfort colored sweatshirts down below. They are a very good quality sweatshirt and this is the color Perry Blue. I'm just using some heat erase pens there to mark this neckline. I'm doing a slit off to one side on this on this particular um, makeover and also cutting off the cuffs. I do save these cuffs. I make my fingerless gloves or fingerless mittens with them but I, I do like to cut them off of my sweatshirts so the sweatshirts are, are easier to roll the, the sleeve. These sleeves are long because this is a unisex sized shirt I'm leaving the bottom band on, but I am making a, a slice in my, my sweatshirt all the way through the ribbing and all the way up to about oh, 08 inches from the shoulder seam. Now I'm just lining everything up. I, I'm going to leave that bottom slit of about 8 inches to give this whole sweatshirt more, more wiggle room around the hips. Now I'm just going to, to sew that seam leaving that um, bottom open. I know this is dark. I did not have my studio lights on vacation so this was just I just did what what I could do as far as the lighting here. But I have this seam sewn now with this bottom slit. I'm just pressing this flat out some fabrics that I thought went well with this this um, peri blue and I've, I've just drew some circles out on my heat and bond light iron that heat and bond on the back side of my fabrics and then cutting these circles and then cutting the circles also in half the smaller circles I was able to use my my Sizzix Big Shot with a circle die and again that heat and bond light is on the back of all of these circles and then I cut a little circle too to go uh, by that slit on the neckline. And just arranging my design. This is going to be just an abstract design. I thought this would be fun for, for um, just a early spring when you're still wearing your jeans and but you want something bright and colorful. Just iron that heat and bond just to activate it with my iron. I'm using my stitch 41 on my sewing machine and it's I'm stitching right down the center of this seam and it's doing a ladder type stitch all the way down. So this is a not only a utility stitch, I mean it's functional in that it's keeping that that seam pressed open, but it's also decorative. I'm using just a cream colored thread and going all the way down to where I I started this seam. It's going to get to be a, a very tiny um, seam on the very top of this, but I'm just opening it up as far as I can. And you can see it there where I started. And there's how it is on the top. Just kind of goes to nothing at the at the top there, and this and the bottom is still open. Now I'm going to edge finish my slit around my neck and also this this um, around the bottom. Just edge finish and also on my sleeves. I'm going to edge finish all the way around. If my if your sleeve is big, like if you have a, a a larger size, sometimes those armholes get large, and so I take a tuck before I do this step, this this edge finishing, and just putting a little tuck in there will help eliminate some of that extra fabric. I'm going to be using this number eight, which is like an applique stitch, but I'm starting off 
of my my fabric so I'm stitching off of my fabric and then just and then just stitching onto my my slit there I do not edge finish the ribbing the ribbing is quite stable on this sweatshirt and I do not edge finish this the the rib the ribbing part. Just this this is that bottom slit, keeping that open, pivoting, and going down the other side, and stopping right before that ribbing. I have my free motion foot on now. My feed dogs are dropped, and I'm going to be just stitching around these appliques. Again, with cream colored thread, it just adds a little bit of a decorative stitch as well as a functional as keeping those appliques down. And here's what it looks like on. Thank you so much, everybody who has joined me today. This was a quick one. Bye for now.